Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition. Well, last time you remember, we discovered that the head of the Thieves' Guild is a treacherous bastard. Well, uh, okay, we already knew that, but specifically he betrayed the Thieves' Guild and some sacred trust of the goddess Nocturna, Nocturnal. So, uh... Please, there isn't much time. What is it? Yeah. So, we need to make our way over to the College of Winterhold to uh, consult with the one person whom the former Head of the Thieves' Guild entrusted with the secret of the Nightingales, who are an elite force within the Thieves' Guild who nobody else knew about. So, uh, let's go ahead and... Find Infear. Who is staying in the bar here? And being 5 a.m., he's probably completely asleep at the moment, but. No, no, having an early morning drink. Can I help you with anything else? I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? My mother was yeah, but there's a problem. A problem? The Let me see it. No, oh, this is just Are like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. Well, he was He's a thief. written all of the text in the Falmer language. Can you translate it? No. However, I know no, someone who might. The, the court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo. May have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning. Caselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. So, why scribe it in Falmer? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language? Yes. I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. And, okay, well, what's a Falmer? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. So they are like your kind? Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. Wow, that's shocking. You to meet an Altmer who will admit, yeah, some of you might be as awesome as us. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now, horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Sound more like victims to me, and you appear to despise them. They'll make a point to hunt them down, well... Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. It should be on my table. And what can you tell me about Gallus? He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Yeah, thieves never do. He was an academic, yet he chose a different path. Why? Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. That is amusing. I was about to show him the error of his ways when... He made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded, and in turn, it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? And I understand that you're an elf who knows how to get things. All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's not overdo it. <clears throat> Meet me in my quarters. The 
They just don't let us go in the college. They said it's not safe in there. <coughs> well, I thought this was his quarters. Ouch! Hey! Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. Uh, which room is his quarters again? Master says his paw says the college makes lots of bad things happen. But the mages I've seen look nice. Alright, that's the other wizard. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. We may not have as much to offer as White Run or Solitude, but we'll do what we can to make your stay a pleasant one. <clears throat> I understand Courier has been complaining about our customers again. What of it? It's our inn, and they cause him no harm. I believe he was suggesting their presence causes him harm. There's not many people left in Winterhold, so I have acid to Eh, well, heck with it. Yeah, I completely confused him with the other wizard who lives in the tap here, and oh heck. loop around before landing on the same roof again. So one nice thing about Whiterun is there's so few places for a dragon to actually land. I mean, Winterhold, not Whiterun. Come on. Sorry about that. My computer chose this moment to say your Outlook is uh, out of date. And it's like, well, I don't use Outlook, so I don't care. It was a long shot, but it got it. Come on, come on, hurry it up. I got loot to sell and a Falmer language to go learn. And check it out! The chicken is unharmed! Problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. Yeah, I've got a uh, less than useless sword I need you to carry. Because I just got like a ton of, yeah, Orcish Greatsword, Steel Mace. All 
all set. Let's go. Wait. I know you. I don't think you do. My There's no mistake. The You're a wanted man and it's time to pay for your crimes. I don't remember committing any crimes here. I missed him. All right. But you just watch yourself. Next time I might not be so lenient. All right, increase my speech. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. Oh, we'll look the other way this time. Even the Yarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. Okay, yeah. We need to do something about these vampire attacks. No, you need to do something about the vampire attacks. You're a guard. It's your job, peasant. Now I'm going to go off and do some feigning over here. Look at me. I'm, I'm totally feigning around here. Eh, yeah, well, heck. You got shop here, might as well go ahead and sell that loot now. No point in letting that uh, stuff go to waste riding on a corpse in the middle of the street. Oh, as long a as I'm here. To you, May you die with a sword in your... I'll sell just about anything if it's... Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. So much for that. Okay, what stuff does she have that I might... Okay, Potion of Healing. That should give me enough to get rid of some of the stuff I don't need. And a heck of it. Mm. Well, I got rid of enough, so... Alright, so... Now, we're going to travel all the way across the continent again to Markarth. And thankfully, we can fast travel right to the Stone Keep. to yourself, sneak thief. Aye. That's Thane's sneak thief to you, peasant. Honestly, just because I'm wearing Thieves' Guild armor, you call me sneak thief? Ah, yes, my matchmaker. What is it I can do for you? Well, I hear you're the authority on the ancient Thalmer. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Thalmer Tongue. Ew. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Maybe I could view your work? Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. Dude, I hooked you up. I'm mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Dude, I hooked you up. Yeah, even after slaying your troublesome spider and hooking you up? I've already provided you a key to the museum. You should consider it an honor if you are allowed to browse my collection. I'm sorry, but that's as far as my generosity extends. Oh, screw you too, buddy. Yeah, thankfully, I do have, uh, you know, entry to the museum. What is it? So, we're gonna need to make a little unauthorized I have to wonder, withdrawal what does the dragonborn do once he's what a waste there must be a dozen men up there yeah Calselmo called in his entire expedition team said he needed every man he could get to protect his research better them than us we lost three good men to the traps so and for what? Just to see another damn spider planking around? Well, at least this post is safe enough. Come on, let's get back to work. 
Okay, so clearly we are going to need to sneak around. And uh, preferably not take any of the guards out, because that is not the Thieves' Guild way. Although it occurs to me, we really should not take me all along on this mission. So, uh, we'll go ahead and ask our sweetie to hang back here. Assuming she's not telling me you're not supposed to be I'm in here. for a fight. Certainly. Be careful. Because I think I can sneak around much better without her. Floor. Kill any intruders on site. Call for backup if you need it. But let no one through. As you say, sir. Spider control rod. Well, that sounds like an incredibly useful tool. Spider, maybe? Yeah, that could definitely be a useful distraction. Let's see. Uncle Camesio got back from Mesocleaf today. Lots of artifacts this time. He even brought me something inspired of it. didn't completely shatter when the guard smashed it. He wants me to get working in my first big research project. I've reassembled the spider with spare parts from the museum. All the joints moved, just not on their own. Uncle said the spider needed a control crystal with the right electroharmonic signature. The guards are out looking for one now. After yesterday's incident, I assembled a staff to hold the crystal. It actually works. When you use the staff, it creates a beacon of some kind. And the spider just walks on over to it. Better yet, it doesn't attack everyone on sight now. That sounds incredibly useful for our purposes. Apparently, it will still attack, just not on sight. During this morning experiment, one of the newer guards was startled and drew his sword, and he's dead before anyone could react. Did it actually detect hostile intent? Further testing confirms that the spider seems to detect the intent of the controller in some way. Last week, he tried to defend me from a threat. This week, it snapped at a guard who intercepted my latest test and lashed out at him. No one appreciates my work. Uncle Calamso is buried in his former research and doesn't have time to help me with the spider anymore. The guards are all afraid that I keep telling him it's harmless as long as I keep it under control. But there have been too many accidents, they just don't believe me. I wanted to show the Jarl that I can't seem to get the spire to leave the lab. It looks like its control crystal only works up here. Maybe I can retune the enchantment. Okay, so that may be less useful than we'd hoped. I'll go ahead and uh, drop... Someone 
seems like that did work pretty well for our intended purposes. But I was hoping to avoid having anybody get hurt. That guard just completely ignored me. Let's see. Now, Clever Thief would have brought invisibility potions with him. And I didn't. Well, actually, wait, I did. Yeah. I'm seeing some definite uh, fumes there. And yeah, it's uh, draining our strength just uh, breathing down there. So that is something to uh, hurry through, I think. And don't let any fires go up. Oh, now that looks like a trigger for something, doesn't it? Something may be tested from a safe distance. Not heavy enough. Oh, what the heck. Well, that does seem to have cleared the path a bit. Well, what the heck, am I the Dragonborn or am I the Dragonborn? Shout. Unrelenting whirlwind sprint. What? Nah! Help, in here! Come down your mind. Uh-oh, that seems to have gotten some attention. <laughs> Sometimes Over here. you just have to go for it.
You don't have the items required to make a copy of this translation. Duplicate the writing on the stone. Well, heck, now how am I supposed to go do that? The final track should reference a massive stone slab. We can possibly bring this item to Inter to have him translate. I'll need to discover where we make the information more portable. Well, the old classic rubbing trick comes to mind, but where the heck would I find some charcoal and a scroll to work with? Ooh, almost made it. Weird that there's no guards in the place where the actual, you know, stone itself is. Aha, roll of paper and charcoal. Oh yeah, I guess uh, you're meant to go up the stairs here and then go down from up here. <laughs> yes, I'm positive I heard something. I... Uh... All right. If there is a thief, you won't leave this tower alive. But shouldn't we inform Master Calselmo? I'll deal with my uncle. Just go. Scour this place from top to bottom. Somebody saw me, but uh, well, in this convenient. Yeah, of course, I probably could have just, you know. Things to be you. Yeah, I probably could have just tried leaving from there, but uh, where's the adventure in that? Okay, so we failed at the stealthy entrance and exit, but we got what we came for, and that's all that matters. So we'll head on back to Winterhold. And no random dragon attack this time? Okay, then. The mages don't let us go in the collar. They said it's not safe in there. Oh, he has the basement apartment. Back, eh? And how was our friend Caselmo? Was there something else? This should help. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. It's quite the tale. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Oh, 
And there's his Falmer study. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. Like most things. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Like a thief. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Where do you come from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Mm, uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Antha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Antha. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Okay, well, talk to him real quick. Listen, all I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Thank you. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden, and you find yourself in Winterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. All right. Bonus. If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Okay, I'll uh, bite. What's the Twilight Sepulchre? You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. So why does it require protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Wow. Thieves and temples doesn't add up. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. I'll understand better if less mystery was involved. As a nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the sepulchre. I know the guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. All right, we'll do it your way for now. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation, see if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but... Given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. I'll put it to good use, whatever it is. To listen to reason, you might have to. All right, Nightingale Blade. Which let's check this baby out. It was over twenty-five points of health and twenty-five points of stamina. Nice. Well, I will definitely put that to good use. So. uh... I just realized I left my wife back at the scene of the crime, so uh, I'm going to go pick her up. And next time, we will pick things up at the Thieves' Guild in Riften. We'll see you then.